everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me again. Um, welcome to my channel. I am so happy that you guys are here. Um, I have a Diamond Art Club unboxing that um, I'm really, really happy to share with you. So welcome. If you're brand new, welcome in. And if you are returning, welcome back. So it is Friday and I it took a day off and I've done a lot of really fun stuff so far today and uh, stuff that I needed to do like vacuuming and I um, mopped the kitchen floor. So, um, you know, I wanted to do a little bit of filming too. Went out to lunch with my sister and brother-in-law and um, I also got a video that will be coming out of... Um, a walk I did in one of our local parks that I hope that you will like. Um, I will link it in a card somewhere toward the end if you wanna if you wanna catch that too. Um, but it's a fun little walk that I went on. I hope you like. Okay, so I'm sitting here today. I've got my cup of tea and I am drinking this. I'm drinking Harney and Sons Vanilla Camaro. I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's a black tea with vanilla. Um, it's super yummy. I really like it. So I thought I'd share what I was drinking. So um, uh, come on in, sit down, have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or some soda or water, you know, whatever you are drinking, uh, whatever your beverage of choice is, and sit back and relax and let's uh, do this unboxing, okay? Okay, I took a sip of tea. And let's get this open. Now I know you know which painting I'm doing because of my thumbnail. And I'm gonna show you the front of the box that this is a square. If you are new, Diamond Art Club always shows if it's a square or a round. And then there's the little picture, which is home for dinner. This is a um, Chuck Pinson. I love Chuck Pinson's artwork. Uh, I love landscapes. It's probably one of my very favorite. And let me get the kit out, and let me get the painting out. Okay, let's get that box down. Oops, so sorry, I'm dropping the box. I was trying to get the little picture out. There we go. All right, now I can put that up against the wall. Okay, so I've got that. And you guys all know it comes with a little sticker if you want to put that on your drills if you store them separate or um, in your uh, log book. Um, the toolkit got kind of ripped, so I guess everything's going to come out the bottom. Uh, that's all right. I think I'm going to tape that up and then I can put it all back in. Everybody's always curious about the toolkit. So I got a little green flower. I got some washi tape. I think I've gotten this one before. You get a couple plates of heart-shaped wax. Um, I got a purple pen and purple squishy, and I never can put these on. Oh, I did. I actually got it on. Usually I don't, I can't slip these on very well. So it goes like that. And then it also comes with a multi-placer and also a tray, but this tray doesn't have the stopper in it. That's kind of interesting. I didn't get a stopper. Oh, yes I did. It fell out. Pardon me. There we go. So I got the stopper in it and I got a larger multi-placer. And it also comes with the baggies and the very pointy stabby tweezers. So be careful with those. And I'll have to be careful. Let me set these aside here because I got to tape that box up so it doesn't fall out. So I'm gonna set that aside. So there we go. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. I've been um, I've been looking at this one for a long time. I didn't get it when it first came out because you know I have a lot of Chuck Pinsons and I um, 
and I thought I really didn't necessarily need another one. But I tell you, I got it, well, two reasons. You know, yes, I really do, I really do love this one. Um, but I also got it because it's not humongous. Hang on just a second. Now we got our colors here, 65 colors in this baby. Wow. It's a 60 by 60. And of course we have our directions and then we have our drills. So hang on a second. Let me just move that off to the side. And I'm going to just roll this backwards. Normally you don't have to, you know, roll anything backwards on Diamond Art Club because the canvas is, um, it's so soft. But just for the sake to have it lay flat a little bit quicker, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll it backwards real quick, real quick, like, and then we're gonna take a peek at it. And there it is in all its glory, because it is. Wow! Every time I open one of his paintings, they are prettier than what I see on their website. I am really glad I got it. And that's what I was starting to tell you about why I got it. So again, I didn't get it right away. Squirrel thought, before I forget to tell you, it has the perforated cover on it, cover sheet, which I love. Um, I wanted to get the new um, autism uh, painting, you know, a tribute to autism. And, um, I didn't want to have to pay shipping, so I needed to get a, another painting. Um, so I thought, well, this is a perfect opportunity. I have to get this one because I don't want to pay shipping, right? <laughs> so that was my thought process. And I'll show you the autism one in a, in a future video because uh, I've got some family members that, um, that are on the spectrum. And they're fabulous people, and I love them to death. And um, I want to honor them by doing that painting. So here we go. Let's get started, all right? Again, 60 by 60 uh, is a Chuck Pinson, and it is 65 colors, numbers, letters, symbols. And in typical Chuck Pinson style, you know, there is a lot of autumn kind of colors in it. This is sunrise, obviously. Wait. It's home for dinner. So this must be a sunset because they're coming home for dinner. Uh, it has, let's see, one, two, three, four ABs. And I think it has one fairy test. So I just love this because the sunrise is so, I mean, sun, sunset. I don't know why I want to call it a sunrise. I guess you could say that but um but this because it's coming home for dinner it's going to be a sunset i love these houses with the wraparound porch it's got a double fireplace which is just um, amazing it's got a, looks like another house off to the side and what are the i think that's like a silo is that what they call them for like a grain silo um And then you have another house here, obviously, and a truck, your tractor, there's your gate going in. And Chuck Pinson always has little animals hidden. Um, I mean, I know we have birds here, but usually there's somewhere else in the painting. There's always, there's always an animal. There's always something a little bit hidden that you don't notice until you are actually doing it. So let's take a look um, at the colors. I've got one drill that fell out, unless that was something that I was already using. So let's let's take a look real quick. We've got lots of beautiful drills. We've got this dark chocolate brown. Now these are in squares too. These are some similar colors that I have in working on my war pony, some of these brown colors. Isn't that lavender pretty too? Really pretty. 
show you all these colors. I gotta turn that around. Sorry for the crinkles, guys, but I like that really soft yellow. And green is one of my favorite colors. It ranks right up there with my pink and purple. We've got some beautiful red, more yellows. That just really just soft, soft yellow. I'm sure that's gonna be in the sun. And of course, we're gonna have a lot more green for the trees. Love the green. That's a beautiful Christmas green too. Lots of greens. And I haven't seen the ABs yet because Diamond Art Club um, packages by weight. And here's another lavender. Oh, here we go. There is our first AB. And I'll show you where all the ABs go when we get done here. I'm gonna put that off to the side so I know that's, I don't have to look through all of these again. But 65 colors, that's a lot, isn't it? Here's some more. Oh, you can probably hear my dog drinking some water. She was thirsty and got a drink. Of course, she was outside. Now here's another AB. That is just super sparkly. And we have another AB. Very pretty. Not much black, just a little bit of three tens. So there's that one. And I just love his artwork. I'm I'm really happy. I'm glad that I got this. There's a pretty orange. Oh my gosh, look at this bright yellow. Isn't that pretty, that AB? And for you guys that are new, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It has a special coating on it that makes it much more sparkly. Oh, wait a minute, that's not a fairy dust. I was wrong, I am so sorry. This is a crystal. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? That is beautiful. So we will find out where that crystal is in just a minute. Once you see all these colors. Okay, let's take a peek. Okay, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Oh, that's much better. And before I show you all of that, um, I didn't really show you, I know, and I know the folks that are used to Diamond Art Club, you know that the drill field is super clear and so easy to read. But I just thought I would show it to you. That's beautiful, yep. Okay, let's start looking. Let's go get some ABs, okay? Let's go get these. All right. I'm certain I'm not missing any. Okay, we're gonna start with this first one right here, this 135. And that is number four, which I would probably venture to say is going to be up here in the sun, right? It's kind of where I'm thinking it is. Uh, but I do not see number four. Oh, you have some fours here. They're down, down through here. I'll bring you in just a little bit, okay? So you can see it. Fours are down through here. I guess I still got to bring it out, sorry, and out through here. And just a few of them. Oh, and up through here. I think that, I don't know what you guys call these, these tall evergreens. We call them like an arborvitae here where I live. So it's on the top of that. And then I'm going to show you this beautiful 103. And that is color number one. And that is all up here in the roof through here. 
and over here in the roof, here, here on the truck, on the tractor, and a little bit over here. Okay, that's all of them that's in that train. And let's do the next one. We're going to do this 117. And that's kind of like a kind of like a taupey grayish color. And that is color number two. And that is all along um, the house here. It's all through here, all along the, the railing, all through here. It's on in the house over here as well. And is there anything in the walkway? No, I don't see it in the walkway. Love these purple flowers. Love everything about that. So there is the 117. So I did 103, 117, 135. Okay, let's get the next ones. We're going to look at this gorgeous crystal. That is beautiful. And that is a double squiggly line. Where is the double squiggly line? wonder if that's up in the sun. Oh, no, that's a single, it's a single line. Where is the double squiggly line? Oh, here we go. Waldo, where are you? This is the only thing bad about doing this when you haven't looked at this before because you really don't know where it's at. So let me just look up here one more time for the double squiggly line. I hope I can find it for you. Because there's not very many of them. There's not going to be a lot. You guys may have already seen it. Isn't that interesting? I can't see. Oh, here we go. It's in the windows. I found them. It's in the windows. Yeah, there's not very many of them. But I found them. And then we have um, one more here. We have this yellow, this 130. And that is number three. And the three is all through here and here and up in here with the sun through here. So that's beautiful. I just love this. I am super happy. You know, I really was on the fence about getting this one. Um, again, I was really on the fence, but I love it because it's not as big as what Chuck Pinson's paintings usually are. Um, and I've had so many big paintings that this is going to be um, uh, much easier to work on. Again, I really, really love this. So... Um, that's all that I have for you right now. Um, I did want to show you too that this is the perforated um, cover sheet. I don't know if I don't know if that's going to show that. It's not going to show it. Um, but the, it is perforated. You do have to be a little bit careful when you tear them apart. But I really enjoy working with them. I like it because it's clear. I don't like the picture covered where I can't see it. Um, I really prefer it clear, but that's just my preference. Um, yeah, I've, I've been really happy with Diamond Art Club. Um, any issues I've ever had, I've been able to contact customer service and be able to get them resolved. Um, usually it was like a missing drill or um, one time I had used my points um, and then I ended up not ordering so the points were already removed, and when I contacted customer service, they were able to reapply it to my account without any problem. I always get a quick customer service from them, um, almost, almost right away. 
even on the weekends. Um, so there you have it, guys. Um, thank you very much for stopping by. Remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And remember to do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. And if you get a chance, stop by my uh, Facebook group, Diamonds by Tita. They've got some beautiful, beautiful things going on right now. It's a drama-free zone. Um, it's just loving crafts, diamond painting and all kinds of crafts. So come on over. Um, we're over 800 people in there right now. Um, we're getting closer to 1,000. So it's super active. Um, yeah, stop by. Well, again, that is all that I have for you right now. Um, enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time zone you happen to be in. Um, and I will see you on the next one, okay? Bye, everybody.